Hello, my fellow Super Builders. Sorry, it has been a while. The Superbase GA week has thrown me off my Super Builders bandwagon a little bit. But we are back and we're building a new Superbase real time application. Now, this is kind of an idea of, you know, sometimes we're running live events and we have, you know, people, speakers in different um, native languages. So, as an example, you know, we have English presenters, we have um, uh, Mandarin Chinese presenters, and um, we kind of want to be able to transcribe and translate. Um, as we go along, and then eventually we want to use um, Supervised Real-Time for people to actually get their preferred, basically, language translation on their own device. So they can just use their phone, you know, scan the QR code, and then basically get a transcript in their preferred language. Now, um, I was looking into different services um, for this, and I came across um, something that is called uh, speech medics. Uh, it looks super interesting. Um, you know, real time uh, streaming translations. Normally, there's kind of a lot that you have to do. They have a pretty cool demo here. So this is exactly kind of what we want to do. Um, you know, we have some source uh, and we want to transcribe it, uh, live transcribe it and then live translate it. Um, and so one thing that's pretty cool. I actually was um, doing this with uh, V0 here. Maybe we can um, take a look at this component here, for example, this transcript panel. So I was using um, v0.dev from uh, Vercel. It's really, um, really a neat experience, actually. So I'm locked in now. And then I can, I think, see sort of, yeah. So here, for example, what I... Um, basically put in as a prompt is like make a headline uh, that was kind of different things basically just um, full screen widget with two boxes of um, the same size and then uh, what's really cool is you can actually use um, here npx v0 uh, to like add the component basically pull the component into your project so that's what we're doing here. And so we basically just have this kind of transcript panel. We're getting in um, the transcription language and then the transcription and the translation and the translation language. And then we're basically just putting that into um, the box. Now, in terms of um, the speech medics API, so something that's pretty cool is you can actually use um, this in combination with like the web RTC, um, you know, web SDKs. Uh, so here, like the navig navigator media devices, and then you basically create this um, media recorder um, from the stream. Uh, the stream itself is, where was the stream coming from? Oh. Yeah, so the stream is kind of this uh, media devices get user media. So we want the audio device. Um, and then uh, we create this media recorder. And then what we can do is we can basically um, using the, so SpeechMedics has this um, uh, JavaScript SDK, which really needs real time session. Um, so it's actually quite easy to basically create this real time session. Now, since we're doing this client site, so this is a, uh, client component. Uh, since we're doing the client side, what we need to do is we need to generate a short lift um, API key. So it's just fetching this from a route here. So the route is, you know, a secure server um, API route where we can use our um, SpeechMatic secret key. And then we're basically just generating an API key of type um, RT is the, the real time API. And then we're basically just saying, okay, the time to live is um, an hour here. So 3,600 seconds, I believe. Um, and then once we have our API key, we can create this real time session, which is um, our session. So I think we're just setting this here as the um, session. Yeah. So basically, if we don't have a session, we're creating a new real time session. Um, and then we can see here that um, the start transcript. So we're then basically adding some um, event listeners. So we have like a recognition started. We have the transcript. So basically, anytime we kind of get um, an event in where we get the transcript, we're then um, adding that to our um, 
transcript uh, here, set transcript, and then set translation um, as well. Uh, so that is basically just an easy test for now. So we're not um, having implemented real time just yet or anything. And so we're just starting our session on here. You know, this is pretty easy. You just say the transcription config um, is in English with like, um, you know, the Queen's English, so to speak. Uh, and then this is Chinese Mandarin um, as the target language for our translation. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're starting here with. So we can test this out real quick uh, in our app. So basically, I just click start. Um, and then, you know, if I open up my console, uh, it'll say, okay, um, we need to allow, you know, access to the microphone. So from the browser. Um, and then basically, as this is going along now, obviously, you can see kind of in the, the network uh, request, um, uh, I think I was too late. Uh, so basically, this is a, a, a web socket connection. Um, and now, you know, obviously, I think the speech matic servers are, uh, I think it's a UK company. So I think they might be located in the UK. So since I'm here in um, Singapore, you know, there might be um, a bit of, of, of a lag there. Um, now, you know, it's still decently fast. Um, now, one thing that I found, and you know, obviously, I, I don't really read Chinese so well, but is that specifically the translation. Um, so the, the English transcription, uh, I think is pretty, sp pretty spot on. Um, but the problem is like specifically the translation into um, management Chinese, and you can see that here, right, like sometimes it doesn't actually catch it. Um, so I had um, some friends you know, check this and it, it seems to be pretty um, far off from, you know, what you w would expect as a native Mandarin speaker. Um, now, you know, maybe we can, okay, if we stop this here. So obviously, um, you know, maybe I can turn this around. Uh, okay, maybe we'll just say, Nihao, German, oh, I've got German software engineering. Yeah, okay, I mean, obviously, my, my Mandarin isn't grace. What is Chongwen? What is Chongwen? Hi, Bu Hao. Yeah, but I think so. No, oh, maybe we stop that. I uh, stop embarrassing myself. Uh, yeah, my Chinese is still bad. <laughs> okay, it got, it got that one. Um, so yeah, I think maybe, okay, maybe we can try this where we're going um, from, uh, maybe we can say from German. So it's the supported languages if we look up German, DE, yeah. So maybe if we go from German into English, Let's try that. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously. Hello, guten Tag. My name is Thorsten Chef. Um, heute sind wir hier in Singapur und wir testen out, uh, wir testen, <laughs> wir testen die um, Speech Medics. Um, <laughs> It's Torsten's boss. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, wir testen die Speech Medics um, API hier für Echtzeit um, Transkription und Übersetzung. Um, ja, und um, naja, gut, so vielleicht kann man das noch uh, verbessern, wenn, wenn man irgendwie spezielle Worte. Um, 
well, okay, maybe I stop this now, but um, yeah, I think it's not really there yet in terms of sort of the, the experience that I'm looking for. So yeah, um, I mean, if, if anyone at Speech Medics maybe has some, um, some ideas how I can improve that, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, um, I think there's some interesting, there's like an offline um, whisper model. There was some local model that I found, was it this one? See, ah, yeah, faster whisper um, from Cistron, which is interesting. So, yeah, I want to see if I maybe actually can do this with web GPU. So, um, web GPU, there's some interesting things. So I'll, I'll be playing around with that. Um, we'll see if I maybe can actually do the transcription, you know, on the device itself using web GPU. Um, and then maybe it is a, it is a bit faster and um, yeah, I don't know if, 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 you know, the quality is any better, um, but we'll see, we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, just a quick update, you know, let me know if you have any pointers for uh, live transcription, translation, maybe even actually in the end, just should I just be using the Google, Google Translate APIs? I don't know. Um, let me know. Let me know if you have any pointers. Uh, always appreciate it. Sweet. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll keep chugging away on this. And um, yeah, let me know what you're building on. Use the super builders, the build in public hashtags. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.